Creating a Projects or Work Examples section. In this video, we will be creating a section of your portfolio to display your projects and work samples. We will be exploring the Photo Grid Layout option. To learn how to choose projects for your portfolio, see our accompanying video. In this case, our sample student has split her work into three categories in order to organize everything visually. Once you've chosen three to five projects that you think will be the most reflective of your skills, you need to decide how to best display them. There's no one right way to display your work. Depending on what projects you want to feature, Adobe Spark offers multiple layout options in order to showcase them in the best light. The first layout option we will be exploring is the photo grid. The photo grid is a good way to display multiple photos from one project, or in this case, multiple photos demonstrating a specific skill. We'll begin, as usual, with our section H1 heading, Projects, and an H2 heading with the title of your first project or category. Then pull up the Layout option and click Photo Grid. This will open a separate page with a familiar navigation bar on the right. Upload as many pictures as you deem necessary to best showcase this first project. You can do this easily by holding Control or Command on Mac and selecting multiple image files. Spark will automatically arrange your photos based on the order you upload them. But by clicking each photo, you are able to change its size and its place in the grid using the various buttons on the bottom of each photo. Replace, Large Photo, Move Backward, Move Forward, and Delete. Once you are happy with the way your grid looks, click Save in the upper right corner to go back to your main portfolio page. There's a space provided under the grid to add a brief description, or you can click the plus sign to add descriptive text that way. You can always go back and edit your photo grids at any time. Simply click on the grid and two options will pop up, edit and delete. Click edit and it will take you back to the photo upload screen and you can add, replace, or move photos at will. As always, make sure to click save in the upper right corner. Continue this process for as many projects as you'd like to include. The project section is a place for you to get quite creative. Feel free to play around with different layouts until you find one you are happy with. Depending on the projects or work samples you are showcasing, you might want to explore the Glide Show Layout option to display your work. This option might be ideal if you are displaying projects that are less visual and require more of a written description. The Glide Show feature will be covered in the next video. Here is a preview of what your project section should look like when it's completed. To see yours, click the preview button in the top menu bar.